Hello everyone, I'm Silent Death, and welcome back to the Comprehensive Ferrum Aerospace Research Tutorial. It is all well and good to explain what all the various screens in FAR mean, but that is not enough for some people. Some people need to actually see it being used. So, for this episode, and the next few episodes, we are going to be doing some case studies. For this episode in particular, we are going to be building a basic jet. Usually, your first foray into aerodynamics. We'll assume that you are playing on science or career mode, with this many technologies unlocked, specifically aerodynamics and landing gear though you may can do without the landing gear if you use parachutes to land you just want to be able to take off again depending on what kind of contracts you're trying to complete and we are assuming that you are using the level one runway and the level one space plane hangar It's important when designing a plane to have the requirements thought out before you even place parts. For this particular basic jet, we want something that can do the early contracts that are in Carbon's atmosphere. Specifically, we want to be able to do the ones that are requiring something like a crew report at 20-ish kilometers. If you recall from our ancient episode, the basic jet using Ferrum Airspace's velocity curve gets a 0% thrust at 310 meters per second. And only a 20% thrust at 250 meters per second. We aren't really going to be able to build a plane that can fly at 20 kilometers with that little thrust and that low speed. So what we must do is build a plane that can launch itself and let inertia carry it past the 20 kilometers and then still be stable enough that it can glide back down to a lower altitude and a lower speed where the engine can get some grip again. We've already placed the cockpit, which is pretty much the only choice for a cockpit for this plane. Now we're going to want some fuel and if we're going to be flying around we might as well grab a couple things of science. We'll of course want our engine. And we're going to need an intake. We only have one option there. Now then, we'll probably want the fuel in the front for stability. Though that does cause the problem that the center of mass is going to shift a little bit further back. As we burn our fuel, but hopefully that won't be a problem. If we're going to be a landing somewhere, we might as well grab what science we can there. Plop on the basic jet engine if it wants to come over here, please. I guess it doesn't. That's weird. All right, stubborn little thing. We'll put the intake, I think we'll put it on the bottom. Well, we'll put it on the top for now and just see how that works. 
Now then, uh, let's uh, grab uh, some wings. Don't really have a whole lot of choice for wings. But we bought sweat wings. Well, two of them. And we want the wings to actually be a swept forward. Okay. Let's get our center of mass and the center of lift things going. As we add on some control surfaces, that'll push the center of lift a little bit further back. And I don't think we have access to Gnarge yet. It does not appear so. So I have to make a do with this. We are going to put this on the bottom. Might want to move these up just a tiny bit. And we want to drop this down. Probably 0.4 is good enough. Most probably. Now then, some elevons on the tips. Make sure we have that off. The angle snap is off. And some more control surfaces on the inside here. Now then, we're going to need some kind of tail section. Might be a little bit much. That's definitely a little bit much. That one's not really easy to attach parts to. Do the winglet. That would give us quite a bit of yaw control. That did not seem to... Okay, that's confused. All right, here's what's confused. We did not have duplicates on here. That's better. That might work. Let's see what our numbers look like. From uh, double sweep angle of attack there. Stall, we should be able to take off though. Not enough roll stability. We need to angle up our wings then. There we go. 0.5. Still looking good. 5 kilometers. Also good. 10 kilometers. Seems to be okay. 15 kilometers. And now we have a problem. Let's see. Can we go up to 0.7? What about Mach 1? Okay, we can barely get to Mach 1 at 20 kilometers. We're actually stable. If we can hold Mach 1 at 20 kilometers, which is unlikely given our thrust to weight ratio. We do have enough pitch authority. Let's check this. really want to add canards, we just don't have anything very good for that. We we'll probably move the center of lift a little bit too far forward. Okay, let's try Mach 0.7. Okay, we stall there at a fairly low angle of attack, and that might be an issue. And Mach 0.5. So we do need to keep a fairly low angle of attack, which means no sudden movements. But other than that, we seem to be okay. 
we shouldn't really need any more intakes for this engine since we can't really go that high. We will adjust our control surfaces. You'll be pitch. You'll be a roll. And you will be y'all. And we'll drop down this. Hopefully that doesn't rip off. Drop down these. Let's see, that puts us at 3.58. Hmm, don't really want to do that any lower. And I don't think we can get away with any less fuel. So let's see what we got in terms of a landing gear. 0.9. Okay, we'll use the lighter ones. Two of those. Adjustment. Let's make those tall for now and see how that works. That might be a little bit much. Okay, we could use this one on the front. Make sure we have angle snap on. We only need one of those. And disable the brakes. Unlock the steering. That does seem a little bit much. That's probably better. Now let's see how this flies. Uh, looks like that's sticking up a little bit more than I would like. That's better. And let's flip the side of the wheels too. Auto line, flip side. That's also better. Still might be a little bit steep, but we'll see. Okay. Even with the landing gear on, that wants to just fly right off. We should be able to pretty much take off right away. Turn on SAS. We are already going pretty fast, so we will try climbing as much as we can. Don't want to gain too much speed too fast. Thruster weight is still dropping. I did have to go back and add a Kerbal Engineer component on because I had forgotten to do so. Can we speed this up without causing problems? Actually, it's starting to lose our thrust to weight, our necessary thrust to weight. We're getting some intake problems. That's surprising. Hopefully we won't be too bad. Our periapsis is not high enough. Our apoapsis, I mean. We're getting serious into the... Intake issues, but I believe this engine auto-throttles. Our apoapsis is up there. We're mostly relying on the SAS from uh, this thing to handle that. Alright, so we're now where we need to be. We can basically stall. Uh, we can plummet, essentially. That's what we're doing. We can get, we can fly a little bit on this height, but not very much because our engine's about to cut out. We're already low intake air and all that stuff. Mike could have added another one of those. But this seems to work. We're still perfectly stable. No kind of stall thing. We can actually go somewhere else if we needed to.
And our engine is completely cut out because we've crossed over the threshold for that. And now then, we just need to see if we can land. We'll try somewhere not too good, watching our thing there. Don't have a whole lot of pitch authority, even at this speed and this altitude. A little bit concerning, but that's okay. Looks like our things are getting us there. Got plenty of power. Ooh, crap. Okay, I guess I turned a little bit hard there. I wasn't paying attention. That was my fault. Let's try that again. Managed to get ourselves turned around by using fine control. And paying attention to what we're doing. Always a good thing. It dropped quickly down into the more draggy atmosphere. Using that to help us uh, slow down. Though we're still going pretty fast for this solo. Need to drop at least another 100 meters per second before we think about landing. So it's going to be a long approach without anything else to help slow us down. Might should have put some parachutes on this. Some drag chutes, at least. Still dropping. Uh, I think that hill's going to get in the way. climb a little bit over that. Also help us slow down, I guess. Getting better. Alright, so we can maybe speed up a little bit. Kind of iffy. Going to use this to keep our wings level. Okay, maybe not. Doesn't seem to want to work. Drop our landing gear. Slow us down as much as we can. Lower still. Not really losing speed as much as I like. Oh, turn off that. Okay, I think some parachutes would be good for this. Let's try some parachutes. At least a jab made it. Okay, we're going to take some real shoots, shoots. Plop them. You don't want to put them. I'll put them right in there if I can. Hmm. Okay, what we could do is we'll move up the wing either way. And then we'll put those two there, and then we'll slide the wing back. And then we need to go to action groups, which we don't have. So we'll just have to do, hmm, toggle info. Deployment diameter at 30 meters. Auto cut, auto cut. Deployment speed. Where's pre-deployment altitude? Oh, that's a little bit high. Mm, can't to really do anything with that. We don't have any controls, I don't believe. Get away. We do 
have a surface mounted nail break. Okay, so let's use that. Turn off angle snap. Um, but we don't have any action groups to put that in. So that means we'll need to manually toggle them. So maybe we should put them a little bit closer to the center. So they don't create too much drag. Yeah, this is going to be fun. It's worth a shot. Let's go for it. All right, here we go again. Gear. Toggle the brakes. Are those brakes. Try not to hit too hard. Down to 50. And do that. Which works much, much better. Of course, we want to do it twice. We have to have someone repack the chutes. But that's good enough, I think. So that'll be it for this episode. In the next episode, we will be doing a, another case study with a hypersonic jet. Or supersonic, not hypersonic. Like if you like. Subscribe if you're not. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.